Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> so good to see everybody. How you doing out there? <laughs> uh, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment if you want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start and talk about some of these cards we're going to go ahead and show you today. Um, real quick, though, uh, a few events happened, and uh, we'd like to share them with you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let her go ahead and tell you. Um, events as such as, honey, like the events we have coming up. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, the events that we have coming up, actually. Uh, so we have Twitch, a Twitch masterclass coming up uh, December 17th, which we will be talking about, like, you know, how we became affiliated because it is actually like it's some math and some um, science to it. And it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. So, you know, there are analytics behind it, such as viewers, um, how many how many days a month you stream and all that kind of stuff. And we pretty much were, um, we pretty much just were able to break those analytics down and um, <laughs> just like pretty much not master Twitch, but we got there as fast as we could with these tactics. So if you stay tuned for that, that would be awesome. We also have like another free, a free class coming up about Robin Hood, where we'll be teaching you um, why it's important to have stocks and, and get into that kind of world and to like, you know, um, investing into sh uh, stocks and shares and stuff like that, because our world is changing drastically every day, um, especially with this COVID-19 thing. So, um, which brings us back to our card hunters uh, ordeal is that we have learned that COVID-19 has pretty much made the card industry, sports cards, uh, very, very real and very um, important, even though it was already important. But now that everybody's working from home, um, if you have some sports cards that you have, definitely get them together because it's it's high in demand right now as we speak. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Part of your investment, if you were as young as I was when you started growing up, is is that of just collecting these pictures, knowing that they were of superstars out there that were a part of a team mm -hmm. bigger than a lot of things. Um, and then later in their career, you usually find out other stuff. I mean, like, let's take this guy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I've had that card for a long time. <laughs> and uh, it was a great card. Had a great price on it. Then the character himself uh, came about and the price dropped. But every individual athlete is worth a certain amount on a card. Each card is different. There's regular cards, there's rookie cards, there's chase cards, there's parallel cards. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, take for existence. Here we go. Here's a Ricky Henderson card. That's actually different than the card I just showed you, simply because this is a regular card. The other one was an all-star card. I don't know if you saw that, but if you look down in the side there, you see it says all-star. Awesome, awesome. So how long how long would you say you've been like how old were you do you remember when you first started collecting your sports cards? Early eighties. Yeah. Early eighties. Traded some, lost some, played some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Daryl Strawberry for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So a lot of people know but don't know the bonos. How many of you know the bonos? So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Bonos. Ah, uh, Bo it. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. That in itself is also a specialty card versus the regular deck card, simply because it's a highlight. <laughs> so there are plenty of cards, and those are just some of the cards that I had from way back then. Those are just some. I got plenty of cards. I got shoebox cards whole bunch of them. So uh, 
right now we're going to go ahead and show you a few cards that are actually graded. A graded card is actually usually from a manufacturer and they did a special run, sent it off, had it graded, and then uh, brought it back. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and look at a few. Like this, this graded card, now I got this a long time ago uh, from Beckett, and it actually came in a magazine. If you see that there. Okay, so you got Brett Favre there. Let's get you a number on the back so you can see that. Slow it down. So that's going to be a 2000 Donruss Preferred Power Graded Series, one of 75. It's 8.5. It's Brett Favre. Sometimes it's hard to find these things. I mean, there's a few others. I mean, you got Percy Harving, you know, it's a rookie. 10, graded to 10. Can't really see it. It's hard to see that. Next time we do this, we'll have a better card set up. So, if there's any questions as far as any players I may or may not have, just go ahead and ask. I mean, there's a few cards. I mean, I don't know if you saw the cover, but these were actually the, all the cards that were on the cover before you started. Oh, oh, oh. So, you see this camera. So on there you got Lindell White, Matt Lionheart, and Reggie Bush. It's a grade 10. You know, a lot of people have uh, cards that they put in books over time. I mean, I've known people to go out, buy cards, and just throw them in a box. And it just bothers me because then they open the box and move it around. You know the corners and the edges are getting all messed up. Yeah. And sometimes it just gets to you. It's very unorganized. Yeah. You got any questions? Um, do I have any questions? Would you say you have a variety of cards, or do you collect um more just a specific team? Because I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a few different teams here. So, uh, as far as all all players go, I never really set on one specific player. So because if you stay to one specific player, you may miss that gem of a rookie card somewhere else. Look at Tom Brady. When that deck came out, nobody knew who that guy was. If you were an avid card collector and you just collected cards a lot, you probably ended up with that card. But other than that, you probably didn't see that card. The people, the few people that went through their decks years later found them then. The stick, for instance. Okay, so this is going to be... Sometimes the years on things are getting smaller. What's the year down there? It's here somewhere. Um, I don't see a year down there. It says 2011 rookie right here. There you go. Yeah. So you got 2011 Julio Jones rookie right there. Okay. This is your regular Julio Jones. There's plenty of special cards out there. Okay, so everybody knows who Mitch Trubisky is. He's made a name for himself lately. Do you know who he is? Uh, who? Mitch Trubisky. No, Trubisky? no. I murdered that name. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Okay, yeah. but you got two rookie cards of his right here. Any of these cards ever interest any of you, go ahead and revisit the video and let me know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we also have right now. A serialized number, number 198 out of 199, pretty crazy. Uh, Dak Prescott, rookie card. Cool, cool, cool. So you, um, I think that's what I like about, one of the things I like about your collection is you have a lot of rookie cards. Um, of some people that are still pretty, pretty relevant. Um, I mean, everybody loves Dak Prescott. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, everybody likes Dak Prescott, but right now it's not who's hot. You know, right now who's hot is Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody wants that guy's card. Facts. So I do have a Patrick Mahomes collection myself. Mm. Uh, this is one of them. 
Let's see if I can get that up there for you. Oh, is that like a piece of clothing in there? Yep, that is a memorabilia. Hmm. I really suck at this camera. There you go. That's a good picture. Okay, so this is a uh, Crown Royal silhouette, Patrick Mahomes, red or pink. I'm not sure which one it was last time I looked. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first pulled this card, I didn't know who the guy was. Again, yet somebody else that nobody, I can, nobody knew who he was. And then he made a name for himself like immediately compared to other people, which is good. You know, everybody wants Patrick Mahomes. I've got plenty of other of those cards. I'll be doing those. I'll be covering that in other episodes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we will have a lot more episodes um, like this. And also, we'll be making them, like, fun. I was just saying the other day, so... um. I'm a little bit more new to the sports card thing. Like, I knew about sports cards. People in my family have collected sports cards. I have collected sports cards as a kid, but never really took it seriously. I was more so into Pokemon and, like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! and anime, that kind of thing. But um, but this is, this is interesting that there's so many different... Um, players that even when like I was younger like he has in his collection I'm like oh I remember that guy oh I remember that guy so yeah it's pretty you have a pretty versatile collection here I'd have to say myself so one of the things you do when you uh collect cards over the years is you manage to compile your own little section of what cards you want to keep autograph cards memorabilia cards Unfortunately, you pull those out of the decks that they're actually in, and those decks might actually contain more hot rookie cards that you just don't know about. Um, I usually try to keep all my stuff together, but sometimes there's a few that I have to separate. And we got two, uh, we got two cards here. Go ahead and show those to you. So the CJ Spillman card, that's a uh, 20 out of 25. They got DJ McCluster and Eric Berry, which I do believe is also their rookie years. It's it's combo cards like that that are hard to come by, and when you do get them, it's rare. But they're not as valuable as the single card, or as much as the single card. Um, here's somebody. Do you remember that name? Kevin Kolb. Um, You're an Eagles fan, you I bet. I am. <laughs> I am, but that player... Oh, she's not an Eagles fan. That player was uh, a player a while ago, though. So this guy, Kevin Kolb, I think mean, was like before her previewing time. <laughs> um, so we have a few others on there. You know, uh, ooh, Dante Culpepper. Game memorabilia, rookie card. Is that a piece of the pigskin football? That is a piece of the football. That's crazy. Okay. That is RG4 from Collector's Edge. Jerome Mathis. How many of you know Jerome Mathis? There you go. Rookie card. Right there. Autograph. See this card here? This one here. See, back in the day, they had cards that they would print off. And a lot of times there was cards that weren't meant to get out there. They were called short prints. Uh, see, back in the day, they didn't have a, a serialized number or a way to serialize them. So they just called it an SP. And you didn't even know that you had that special card, like the Art Monk card I just showed which is a short print you don't even know you have those until you find them years later and beckett has listed them as such you know uh here we got some other rookie cards that are uh, autographed as well you know we got these are just some of the cards the one has this is marvin harris see this one here this is marvin harris okay right here that's 175 out of 275. This one right here? I can't see. There we go. 
I'm really bad at the camera, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That so. one right there. Oh, hi. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And we got some other older ones, which is kind of crazy because every once in a while the NFL slips some other random oh, card random there. cards in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that the president and the vice president? Yep. Hmm. I'll predict did that. Years ago. Huh. So football is seen to be like very patriotic. Well, actually, all sports, you know, back in the day, it was, at a certain point, they had to separate it, just, and start keeping it separated. It was just getting a little kind of crazy out there. <laughs> getting a lot of hand. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but we got plenty of cards here to show you. I mean, it's, just stick around. We got plenty of them. I'd like to show you some of the old cards that I've got. Or uh, some of the old baseball cards. I mean, I've had these things forever. So I even got a small book. So I bought this book probably back in 1992. No, not 1992. Is that the inaugural season? 1994. Uh, Colorado Rockies inaugural season. So I, I bought this. And uh, over the years, I had plenty of cards to switch out and, in and out. But right now, I got some Mark McGuire's in there. Everybody knows who Mark McGuire is. Yeah. Wow, it's crazy. So there's there's some of their older cards. It's just like a lot of great ones. Ooh. Ooh. I got a jumbo card for you. Okay. That's a 1996 upper deck jumbo card for Emmett Smith. It was the last time you've seen one of those. Wow. A lot of you may not even have seen one of those. I've never seen a big card like that. Here's a Frank Thomas card. 1996. Okay. Big top. This is the last big car I got. It's LG Crumpler. Okay. Sweet what? image. Look at the size of that car. It's <laughs> big as my head. Just about look at that. It's like I the only thing that. I have competition against when it comes to the size of my head. You know what? <laughs> that is a jumbo car. It's the size of my hand. <laughs> so we're just going to flip through some of these other ones real quick. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Right? Let's take a look here. Let's see who we got. And we got uh, we got a Mickey Mantle Heroes card from Upper Deck when they did a series on him. This this has to be or this one here has to be one of the more memorable sets that I had when I was a kid. I could flip through those things so fast, it was crazy. And I had so much fun going through those things all the time. <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of that set anymore just because I traded them off or stuff stuff like that. I got Jeff Bagwell. Here you go. Ryan Sandberg. I don't know if any of you remember who Ryan Sandberg is. Oh, hi. Thank you. I had to scroll the comment thing. I forgot mm -hmm. last time when I was live to remember to scroll that. Um, this is great. Two different sets. My son actually enjoys this. Oh, that's awesome. So some of these are the Proline portraits. These are like some of the 80s cards. I feel I feel like I should be wearing a mullet when I look at some of these. It's just it's just that bad. These ones are pretty shiny. I like these because that's uh, the Pinnacle Summit set. It was very colorful, very colorful. April, what? How old is your son? Um, how old is he? Maybe he could start collecting cards now and um, collect like cards, like Zach was saying, so that when he gets older, they're actually you know worth a good value. Oh, somebody said that is cool, man. <laughs> Thank you, Tyrone. You like bow, April? <laughs> Where can you get these cards? I want to know where you can get the card. Well, uh, right now the market is super hot and it's really hard to find cards just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now we're gonna—I'm just gonna flip through another one of my books, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna discuss where you could possibly get cards and how to get them. It's just expensive right now because the market is so hot.
-hmm. Let's take a look at some of these real quick. So right in the middle of this one, you're going to notice a Tom Brady. Okay. Uh -oh. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to scroll up, okay, because I'm really bad at this camera thing. So I'm just trying to scroll up and let's just check him out. I that Tom already. Brady, the number is NAP5. Do y'all see young Tom Brady's face? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so this is 2006. Okay, Tops Heritage. And the number is NAP5. That is so crazy. Oh, look at that, staring at me right in my face. People, I just realized, staring at me right in my face, same page, same page. If you go back and look at the video, it's actually a my, it's actually a Matt Leinhart rookie card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sitting right next to the Tom Brady, right there. I didn't even realize it until I, until I saw that. Oh, says, um, brush old school. Can you give me the Philadelphia Eagles latest cards or pictures? Ooh. Uh, yes. Um, I'm really good at finding out where you can find some of that stuff, and it depends on how in-depth you want to go, because there's there's people that can buy cards, and then there's people that uh, just want to buy the card. There's people that buy cards to collect them, and then there's people that buy the single individual card. If you're looking for a specific athlete, or if you're looking for a memorabilia card, and uh, autograph card or something like that there's always a market out there that you can find them uh -huh. and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the bottom of the video after we're all said and done um, I'm gonna repost this and make sure that there's links in there that we can actually have you directed to right places that you can trust uh, since I found places over the years that I have shopped and I trust them I feel I feel comfortable sending you their their way all right. <laughs> She's trying to find her Eagles hat. I was. I was trying to find my, my Eagles hat to match his energy over here with the Broncos. <laughs> well, you can always give me another hat. Just grab me one of the other Broncos hats. I don't want to wear a Broncos hat. No, I said I'd change my hat. Oh, no. Yeah, just grab me another one of the Broncos hats. Okay. I'm a I'm a Where's I'm a fan of all athletes. I like all athletes. I don't I don't have a specific team per se. I grew up with the Broncos, so they're gonna be my team. But let's go ahead and look at some other ones here real quick. Dante Hall, right in the middle. It's a good one. Dante Hall. You got a you got a few of them in here. Rookie cards. Watch for the rookie cards, people. I love collecting rookie cards. And I love showcasing the rookie cards. Oh, you got some good ones on there, too. Okay. <laughs> Cambridge. Oh, wait. You told him about the website, right? With the cards? I told him that at the end of the video, we'd hmm. be posting information. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um... Jerry Watson, yes. Um, April, I will message you after here so we could talk. Cause that sounds that would be awesome for if to have you as a guest. That would be fun. That would be fun. I like those Cambridge dolls. Cambridge dolls. Cambridge dolls. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody has their preference. I mean, like I, like I said, I, I'm an athlete fan. I think all the athletes are great. You know, I like all the athletes on the Eagles, uh, <laughs> New England Patriots. Now, I'm kidding. I was going to uh, say, wait, what? <laughs> just, all, just all of them, you know? I like all of them. I, I just, I think they're amazing in what they do. I, I don't think that, you know, I could get out there and pull the play that entire time. But if you look... At this one here, I want you to notice as soon as we get to the bottom, you got a couple people that might notice. Okay. Steve Young, Brett Favre in the middle, and Mark Brunel. Right there. That one in the middle. Nice. The next level. Pinnacle inscriptions. Artist proof. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number 
So who's your who's your favorite um player, Tyrone, on the Eagles? I had a favorite player, but he's not on the team anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We won't talk about that. Nah. <laughs> we will not talk I about thought... that. It's okay. <laughs> I got it right here. It's over here. Oh, it just slipped out because it was turned. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. All right, now, uh, <laughs> see, that's it. See, like, back in the day, I could talk about Drew Bledsoe. Nobody who knows who he is because Brady put such a shadow on everybody else there that everybody just is like, who? Mm -hmm. Who? If you have any uh, comments or want to see any particular kind of cards, let me know. I mean, I just got plenty of them. I always flip through these, so I'm always seeing them all the time. Let's see if we can find a good rookie for you. Is there any rookies out there that people like? Um, When you say, can kids join, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Kids, if you're asking if kids can actually trade cards and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sure you know. So actually, yeah, uh, they actually have card sets that are like dueling sets now that you can actually get. They actually have athletes on them. It's an activity now. It's called Tops Attacks or something like that. You can get, and the kids probably just love it because it has athletes, and it's just like one of those hit points games that they can trade cards or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's a uh, kid's version. They can Kids can actually start collecting these now. It's a good investment because they may end up with that rookie card that's everybody's favorite down the road mm -hmm. um okay yes i have okay so i'm not gonna lie i had a favorite um i had some favorite players on the team um do i know names i did but i'm very bad at names and i haven't been watching football especially with covid i've been like trying to get back in the nfl spirit trying to make sure i watch their games but it's kind of hard to watch eagles games out here in colorado they don't have, um, if the Broncos are playing, they will not show them. Um, but you can go ahead and. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and scroll while she's talking, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll. I'm going to go slow. <laughs> so we got Tiki Barber up there in the corner. We got Lamont John. Everybody's all over this. We got Joe Montana right in the middle there. Look at that wow. one. That one's that was an old one. That is that one. Kevin Falk. Boomer Sison. Hey, Boomer. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> No, oh, I'll turn it this way. It's not really bad at the camera. Boomer size and look at that. That in itself is only that in itself was it? One of four thousand cards. So even back then they were saying, you know, somewhere on the card, if there's only a certain amount of those cards, they were saying it. You know. Uh but yeah, so um I had I after Nick Foles, I'll just say it. After Nick Foles left, I haven't been watching. That's actually when I haven't been watching the Eagles as much. Um, and then COVID came. But I just, I feel like they should have kept Foles and maybe benched Wentz. Or maybe kept him as the second quarterback. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but I just, I mean, Wentz is a good guy. Um, but he even himself said that he has faulted his team because he didn't put time into um, that chemistry and learning people off the field like Nick Foles did. So, you know, how could you blame how, you know, how could you blame them not winning and doing this and that? <sighs> so, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard because I'm an Eagles fan, but my heart, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> To drive out there if I knew did you live out there um honestly no I just moved um here like two years ago so it's not I haven't I've I've been in Jersey all my life um Jersey and Philly area um but I moved here like two years ago um people wonder why I wore Eagle stuff still but I'm just like duh because you don't jump on the bandwagon and be like everybody else just because you moved to that town <laughs> so yeah Eagles for life but um so what you had like a truck driving job because um 
I, I know a lot of people travel out that travel out here is, is high in demand because of the stuff that we have over here, resources and stuff. So. All right, people. So let's, let's let's jump forward a little bit now. Just recently, the everyone was talking about Christian McCaffrey. Why not? Uh, got got quite a few of his cards here. This this uh, last time I collected. So every once in a while, I'll go out and I'll collect in waves. Um, sometimes I'll do that and it's good. Sometimes I'll do it and it's bad. If I hit the bad year, it, it sucks. But uh, this particular year, I got a lot of good ones because uh, I got Mike Williams, quite a few of those. Um, I think he's still kicking. NFL, right? Stands <laughs> for not for long. So we're gonna go ahead and look through some of these rookie cards. It's it's kind of crazy going back and looking at these. What year is this? This is 2017. I I might run across another Patrick Mahomes. I don't even know. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I live in Florida now. I was in Tennessee, Nashville. Okay, okay. My friend just moved from Orlando, Florida. She well, she went. She lived in Philly, then went to Orlando, then moved back to Philly because she got homesick. But I, I've traveled to Florida. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, so here's one for you. Right in the top row, right in the middle, you got Mitch Trubisky. Or Trubisky. Sorry, bro. I'm going to do this every time. Unless just you call, call, oh, you just can't call, call me. Just call me. Hey, call me. Tell me how to pronounce it correctly. Okay? Right? I'll yeah, do call it. us, dude, so we can say your name, right? Yeah. Better yet, call me next time I'm live. And, and tag Trubisky for us. us. <laughs> Trubisky. Uh, so everybody knows who Leonard Fournette is, right? And everybody knows who that guy is. I want you to look in the bottom corner right here. That's Leonard Fournette's rookie card. Oh, when he was at LSU. That's crazy. Yeah, LSU. Back when schools were still in, period. Oh my. Oh my. I'm gonna find my Eagles hat. She's on a hunt for her Eagles hat, I people. I'll be back. <laughs> and she just now got up. Alright, so while she's gone. I've been holding on to this thing for a while. How many anybody else get one of these? Motor Combat Deception card. Sub Zero. Found it. Found it. She found it. She found it, people. She found it. <laughs> Just people, families, it's only one family. Oh, you are so sweet. I will actually. Yeah, we'd like to keep in contact with you, um, especially like if you have cards, if you want to, you know, um, show us or something sometime, that would be awesome. Yeah, love discussing cards. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see if I can find, I'm trying to find a good set for you guys. I just don't want to show you guys something that's going to be sloppy. Um, what kind of cards are those? Fancy yeah. yeah. All right. See, I have a problem with showing some of these just because it's like, what do I want to show these people? And it's like, I got them. Gridiron Kings. This is a nice set. I like this one. I got Cam Newton right there in the middle. Wow. Colin Kaepernick right there. Dang. Green Hill right here. Okay, right in the middle, you got Derek Carr, wow. Matt Forte, Mark Hesley, Russell Wilson. Then you got Russell Wilson, Demarcus Ware, and Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. I'm sure he's probably getting mad that I didn't start with that card. Well, if we hear from him, we'll let you know. We'll try to catch that. <laughs> you know what? 
<laughs> Y'all better leave Odell Beckham alone. <laughs> what? He's, he's everybody. Usually, everybody can hear him, and right now, I, I don't hear. I, I don't, it's crickets. I don't hear that guy. No. Where's he at? He's he's meditating. He's meditating. <laughs> I used to love listening to that man until I turned off the TV. It was weird that way. So, as he's looking for cards, I found my hat, but I also came across something else. Hey, babe. Uh, hi, guys. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right, we got some 90s here for you. We got some older cards. I always enjoyed looking at these older cards. It's, sometimes they're bland and sometimes they're not. I mean, there's names in here that people don't know at all. Because they've been... Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Going from San Francisco to Denver to the Raiders to... Who cares? <laughs> Bill Romanowski. Oh, snap. This is from the 1991 Fleer set, people. Awesome. These are some of the older cards. Uh, a lot of people might remember some of these. A lot of people might not even know that they exist. Oh, we got Heather here. Hey, my love. Hey, girl. Hi, thank you for joining. We're being sportsy right now. I'm talking about some baseball and football cards that yeah, Zach acquired over the years. Oh, Mike Merriweather. Oh my gosh, some of these are really old. This is 91 oh. Fleer. I'm looking at some of these. Phil Sims, Willie New Newberry. Oh, kid, Lord. All right, down in the bottom corner, everybody remembers this guy from back in the day. Somebody mentioned something about Bills on the other on on some chat or something, asking people for Bills cards or something like that. Look at the bottom corner. Wait till we get there, okay? When you get there, people who know, no. Who is that? Thurman Thomas. Yup, and then you got Reggie White. Boom, boom, Ooh. boom, boom. Reggie White. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so these cards, I mean, I collected these a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah. So when I, I, I stared at them years for years. That Let's see who crazy. else we got. Warren Moon. So the um the other day I saw somebody doing like blackjack stacks with their cards. Do you guys think we should do something like that? Um, Where... <laughs> he gave me a look. Um, uh, <laughs> where like we should play a game? Yeah, she's got Star Wars cards. I don't have Star Wars. We do. We do, but but she could show those to you. We got Pokemon cards. We got plenty of cards. Yo, my PlayStation is going off the hook. It's beeping. Oh it's like, yeah, that's what that beeping me. is. Look, I have this thing with electronics. Like they call me. They just do. They just do. I don't get it. Would you stop? Stop. Right now. It's, it's not gonna oh, stop. You gotta it's, play it's, it. <laughs> Taking shots. Taking shots. Where's just hit the button, turn it on. Calm down, girl. Calm did you hit her button? I did, it's still going. Wait. Is the remote right. control right. touching it? Just hit the button, it's calm down now. <laughs> now oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. Oh, Alright, so earlier somebody was asking us about uh what cards uh, can kids play. So I'm going to show you some tops attacks cards. Now Oh, you know, this is crazy. Facebook is like setting my PlayStation off. Like my PlayStation does not like the fact that I'm talking to Facebook right now. What button should I pull? Just honey, I mean, just leave it. Just, just it's coming it's coming no, it's coming at us. It's coming at us. Alright, so these these here are top attack cards. You got player hits and points that you can get online and play with. It's pretty cool. Um so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these here. Uh, we got a Lindell White. You know, uh, let's see who, who else we got here. Mar uh, Marvin Harrison, Heath Miller.
Now, I'm sorry if I move these uh, too fast, but if you have any questions about any of them, just ask me to go slower or go back, and I can try to find that page. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Who else? Who else could we show you? The Drew Brees card. A Drew Brees rookie card. That one's pretty cool. Pretty cool. He's a lot of cards. By the way, he has like I want to say twelve to fifteen of these things, probably more than that. You have like 20 something in this book with nothing but cards in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a few, there's a few. All right, so let's start with this one. Okay, so we got Ben Roethlisberger. Worthless, mm. worthless burger. Put him in Kleenex. Put him, in, put him in Kleenex. Calvin Johnson Jr., Antonio Gates. In the middle there, you got John Pierre Paul, Doug Martin, Colin Kaepernick, Earl Thomas. Here's some more fun ones. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so we got, hey, I'm really bad at this freaking camera thing. <laughs> so, can you turn that light off? Yeah. I think that's the getting glare. glare. Sorry, guys, give us one second. That's, that's, that's a little bit better. A little better. There you go. There you Is go. That better? Yeah, that's way better. You can see it a little bit. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so the top row, Demarius Thomas, Marshawn Lynch, Calvin Johnson Jr. And then you have Marquez Colston, and then you have Chris Johnson, and Des Bryant. Des Bryant. Pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of feels like two first names. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't know you could pin messages. Mm hmm. That's so cool. So people, a lot of people ask me, you know, which one's your favorite rookie card? Which one's your, this is, this is, the first one was the first one I ever got. When I found, and I recognized and I understood what it was at that age, mm -hmm. my first rookie card, which would have been a Frank Thomas draft pick card. Now that wasn't, that wasn't the year I started collecting. That was the year I started understanding what I was collecting and what I had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Who can we show you here? Who can we show you? Mm -hmm. You see anybody you like? Who do you want, who do you want to show them? Um, who do you want to show them? There's some colorful ones in the background. Eagle cards. I like showing the colorful ones. I don't know why. You know, some of the regular ones are cool, but I, I like showing the or I like showing the real colorful ones. So let's take a look, let's take a look some look at these real quick here. We're gonna take a look at uh, Matt Ryan, Pierre Garçon, Reggie Bush. We got here Adrian Peterson, uh, Greg Olson, Brandon Marshall, and Julio Jones. So let's take a look at these here. Now, we have a website. We're actually gonna be listing some of these for sale. Not all of them, but mm -hmm. if you see, if you go to our website, which we'll have that listed after this, uh, just come back, visit the video, and you'll be able to see the links down below. Go into our website, and it'll actually show some of the uh, pages that we're having for sale. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what else, what else can we find here? You have a little Sean McCoy. You like that one? Uh, yeah, the Sean McCoy is actually one of my favorite Eagles. Um, now that I remember his name. <laughs> but yeah, the Sean McCoy, I'd have to say, played a very big part in helping us with the Super Bowl, um, winning the Super Bowl a couple years ago. So. Yep, so here you go. Okay, so we got Topps Valor. 
We got a few of them. We got uh, starting right here. We got Monte Ball, John Pierre Paul, Jamal Charles, Jimmy Graham, Deshaun McCoy, and Robert Mathis. All decent players. The Topps Valor set I thought was really colorful. I liked it. All right, so this one, we're going to go through these. We got Julian Edelman, Eric Berry, Larry Fitzgerald, Cadrell Patterson, Eric Decker, Colin Kepernick, Jay Cutler, Troy Aikman, Pierre Garçon. I know. I know. Jay Cutler. Hmm? Jay Cutler. Oh, nah. You know what? No comment. <laughs> Ooh, let's look at these. All right, this will have some in there. You got Barry Sanders right here, Marcus Allen, Jordan Cameron, Tavon Austin, Troy Palomalo right there, Shane Green. Jason Pierre Paul, Andrew Luck, Wes Welker. Andrew Luck. Mm hmm. He's lucky. <laughs> yeah, that man got lucky, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Ooh, here's some. Here we go. You ready? Oh, we got Marshawn Lynch, Andre Johnson, Aaron Rodgers. Awesome. Sam Bradford, CJ Spiller, Alshon Jeffrey. Another favorite one of mine. Got Robert Quinn, Rob Gronkowski the Grunk, and then you got Tony Romo. Wow, you know he's um he's retired now, right, Gronkowski? Yeah, yeah. So we be. sat down, had a talk, and he's like, you know, I'm just about time to give it up. I was like, you know, it might be. It's just like, you know, you're doing good, but. You know what? Not yet, but she's going to tell me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I tell you what. Those are older. We're getting to the last 10 minutes. And for the last 10 minutes. Breaking now. I wanted to show you something that I actually just came across. I just just recently found in my collection. Now this is a rookie card. Uh, Davion Clowney, Houston Texans, Road to the NFL Prestige, 2014. That was crazy. Okay. Same guy. Rookie card. Whoa. This is like my favorite Eagles item I own. It's like the only Eagles thing I own. <laughs> All right, now. This is, in the last 10 minutes, we're going to show some cards that we're actually listing. Okay? Um, we're going to list select few, and then if those disappear, or less, we're going to list select few more. So let's go ahead and start with. Jalen Ramsey, it's actually a see-through card. Now, a lot of these, a lot of these are going to be sold in uh, groups. 
So it's not going to be just one card you're buying and you get on there when I'm talking about sets, okay? You're going to get on there, you're going to buy a few of the cards in groups at, at one at a time, so it's worth it. You're not just buying one at a time. Um, some people might want it that way, but you know what? First come, first serve, you know? Uh, I have a collection. I need to share it. And maybe these numbers aren't, maybe these cards aren't for me, you know? Uh, LaShawn McCoy, okay? Oh, Prestige 2016 inside the numbers. It is also a see-through card. And that's another one of my favorite players. McCoy. <laughs> okay. All right. Everybody knows who Derek Carr is. 2014 Prestige, yet another see-through card. I like how when I move the card like this, she like tries to move her head so it stays in the screen. Did you guys see that? <laughs> guys... Shut up! <laughs> I'm not doing it on purpose. Shut I'm up! I'm really. Like, I would be showing you right here so you can see so you can see both of us, but like on accident, I like immediately because just my perception is thrown off. So I'm just I'm sorry. I'm not trying to block you out, but <laughs> it's just funny. That is just funny. I I'm sorry. Okay, so Jeremy Macklin, okay, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, yet another C2 card. Again, uh, these cards will be on my website for people to actually look at and possibly purchase in groups. Now right, we're going to skip a few. All right, so let's jump over to this one here. Everybody knows who Paxton Lynch was. Poor guy. It's like I feel I feel like the Broncos sometimes we get people and we hold on to them just so nobody else gets them, and it kind of ruins their career. Yeah, because I feel bad. Y'all, y'all, y'all did something. Dumb. The, well, why, why, was, what's his name lasted a long time, Peyton? Peyton Manning? Yeah. Peyton Manning lasted a long time because he actually came from the Colts. He was a veteran, yeah. he was a veteran yeah. quarterback <laughs> that literally he, wanted to tell the court, the, the Colts franchise mm -hmm. just to show it. Yeah, that was, which, good job, good, brother. Yeah, it was good, a good job. Move. Hey, anybody good. else want to come to Denver and retire? <laughs> cool. You keep saying Tom Brady need to come over here. Mm -mm. I don't even want to talk about that man right now. <laughs> Although I'm glad he left the Patriots. That's why I'm okay with talking about him sometimes. All right, so now we got Derrick Henry. Okay, this is a rookie card. And next, actually, a, uh, a nice one. It's called uh, NFL Draft Big Board. Okay. Look at that. See, she did it again. She was, going to, oh. she was trying to keep her head in the picture. She did it again. I'm just so used to Watch. Mm. 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 <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So everybody knows who Latavius Murray is. The banner season for him. Look at that. It's like if I hit the light just right, you could see it. But if I turn it for just a second, you just, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Now, I've actually got quite a few of those banners right here. Like I said, uh, a lot of these are going to be sold in groups. You know, I, I I bought cards and then got cards and then put them into groups together. And, you know, uh, I don't think they should be broken up. You know, I'll sell it as a group. So we might need all of them or may want to pass them on or collect them. Just period. Um, so let's see here. Out of these, let's see. Any of these names look good? Mm, no. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Kenneth Dixon. I just wanted to say the last name. And that is part of, that's a rookie card, that's part of the Prestige 2006, and that is part of the Passport 
section. Um, in future in future broadcasts, I'm gonna actually be uh, answering comments to people on uh, how much their card might be worth. Because mm -hmm. I'll simply just look it up and back it for you and just tell you over here. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, there ain't no rule that says I can't do that. All right. So, let's see here. Right. You like that one? We got a draft pick here of Vernon Hargreaves. I believe I said it right. I'm not <laughs> sure. Draft pick. There you go. All right, everybody knows Russell Wilson. Everybody Ooh. knows Franco Harris. I like these. These are really nice looking. They are really. So good. we got Russell Wilson. Oh, oh, there we go. Got to find the light. Hold on. There we go. See Ooh. Russell Wilson. Super Bowl heroes. We are having fun. <laughs> Franco Harris. Franco Harris. Let's see. You still have the sticker on it. Well, that one is dollar fifty. <laughs> it's Franco Harris, and it's an older gentleman. Nice. So there are quite a few cards that I mean I have to share. I mean that I could be here all all night, all night. Yes. collect these things all the time you know earlier i came across some cards i actually came across one of my old pete rose cards mm -hmm. pete rose do you know who pete rose is yes he is a football player no baseball player oh. good try <laughs> <Got fans. laughs> Got booted out of the league for gambling against his own team. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes the stuff that's happened back then are kind of crazy. That sounds kind of like, crazy. Sounds now. like Patriot vibes. But he said he's not on the football team, so I guess that's the Patriot right? version of baseball. Yep. <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Don't get caught slipping, y'all. Y'all gonna do some shady stuff. Don't get caught slipping. Don't do it. Don't, Just don't, do don't it. even do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, now. I think we're gonna go ahead and finish up with some cards here. So. I stumbled into some of my Bronco collection here. Quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it. So, uh, I'm kind of torn. Do I show you Steve Atwater? Do I show you... Oh, here you go. I got it. Proline Portraits. Oh, stop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay. So like posing for a picture. That's it almost looks like the uh star jacket I got, huh? Yeah, it does. The windbreaker. Alright, here we go. Right in the middle. The first autograph card I ever got back when autograph cards weren't really autograph cards. When you got an autograph card in a pack it's usually because that guy sat there and signed every single one. Um, there are some places that had it just printed on the back and called it an autograph. But they certified it by stamping the card. You look right here, right in the middle. Yeah, Michael Young. Okay. Flip around on the back side there. What do you got? That's probably the first autograph card I ever received. And it actually has an imprinted, boom, certified, authentic NFL. So, 
when I got that one, it was kind of crazy. I actually went to the mall one time to actually see if I can get Bill Romanowski's autographed on a card. Um, I went walking up and I said, hey, can I have Bill Romanowski's autograph? You know, I was like, can I have his autograph? And they're like, oh, yeah, where do you want it? What do you want me to say? And they wanted to put it on a four by six or whatever, freaking little whatever. The flyers. And I said, I said, well, I'm a collector. I have a card. I want you to, you know, can you sign my card? And my mom took me. And the guy looked at Shout us, like, straight up looked at me like, no, why? You need to turn around and go sell it? Like, come on. I was just trying to collect a card. I was being super rude. So, Phil Romanowski, if you can hear me, give a shout out. I'll let him know that you decided to uh, change your ways. <laughs> That's awesome. By the way, his mom is in the uh, live right now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Mama Dukes. All right, now. <laughs> Let's see here. What is that card? It's that one? You can barely see. It's Reggie White. It's 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 hard to see. It's, it's like a see-through card that has. It's like a glass stain. Like you know the glass stained art. That's kind of what kind of card it looks like. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm gonna pull this one out just because it's got a few cards in there. Before we get out of here, I just wanted to say thank you for showing up and stay tuned for our next card show. Yes, yes, for sure. Anybody recognize this guy? That's right. Joe Namath. Okay. Napoleon Coffey. Yep. Jamal Anderson. Yep. Damn. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think so myself. So, after this, go ahead and leave in the comments what kind of cards would you like to see during the next card show? Mm -hmm. More autograph cards, more memorabilia cards. What do you want to see? What do you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here and thank you for showing up and enjoying us. And we do have other events that are upcoming. Yes. Uh, some of them are paid, but they're well worth it because a lot of people want to be able to stay at home and make money. Um, and right now with the way conditions are, you know, uh, you kind of want to try to get there. I mm -hmm. mean, if you can't get there and you don't want your kids to suffer or something like that, and they're of age and they can actually legally work, mm -hmm. you can get them to do be a Twitch affiliate or something like that because you can get paid online. Mm -hmm. But we do have other events and want everybody to succeed. So check back with us. We're going to have cards. We're going to have a uh, list. I'm going to list all the website and everything down below, and you'll be able to follow that link and see some of the cards we have on the website. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Anything you'd like to say? Um, just thank you, like you said, for coming, and we'll catch you next time for the next stream that we live stream that we'll be doing, which is the Twitch affiliate um, tips to help you get there and get paid while you are home. Oh. Bye.